Hey guys, what is up? It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and I am back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning March 6th through 12th in my SPC edit pro impression X SP X SPC planner <laughs> with my cross press 2023 inserts. And I am using the December Mystery 2022 from SPC this week. And I used different foil. I did pull in pink flower underlays from Planahan. I don't know which ones they are, but they're probably botanical some number, I'm assuming. Um, but they're the ones that look like roses. Why I pulled those ones in, I don't really know. And then I did use the floral silver foil bundle from SPC. I also don't know what that's called, but it's really cute with this kit. So I like how this turned out. It's not my favorite because I don't know if the underlays go with it, but I did pull in pink, light pink scripts from Planet Hannah too. So I feel like that together all goes with it. It's just, it was like a much different pink than what was in the kit but I don't hate it and I'm a pink lover so rather have it be too pink than anything else if you ask me. I do think the silver floral foil bundle from SPC looks really good with this so I think if I had just even done like silver floral underlays like the same underlays but in silver and just not done the pink foil from Planahana, it may have looked a little bit better but I'm all for trying something new and experimenting and trying things outside the box. Um, and I don't hate it. It's just pink. But the spread before this was amazing. Amazing. And the spread after this is even more amazing. So just be hyped for those. I just feel like there's been such good art lately. There's been such good releases by all the shops and I'm so excited. And I was thinking when I got this kit that it'd be really good for Mother's Day because it reminds me of my mom. But then I chose to do different Mother's Day art, which you'll see in my March haul. If you haven't seen it on my IG stories at Laura Marie Plans, then you'll see it in that haul, which I decided to use. And then you'll see it in my main lineup. And then you'll obviously see the plan with me. But I thought, you know what? This is a perfect March kit instead. I think this one would have also been a great February to March transition. But last week was just so good. I wouldn't redo it for a thing. Next week is oh, so great too. And the week after I am now doing the cherry blossoms, which is the week I'm in now, the 20th through the 26th. Cause the cherry blossoms peak bloom today, the day I'm filming this, which is the 23rd. So I'm going to switch up some of that in my planner. Cause I had the cherry blossoms as the last week. Cause I didn't know when the peak bloom was going to be when I filmed my March, um, kit lineup. Anyways, I love how this turned out. This is a voiceover plan with me, so it's going to be a fast one. But I did get comments that people like my talk throughs, which I don't even know. Also, I've been getting comments or I was getting comments on my videos were really bright and I was super aware of that and just did not freaking know how to fix it. So I ended up just taking off the filter that I had on it because I use like Premiere Pro and Jake does all this fancy stuff. And for some reason, it wasn't working for my videos. I mean, he doesn't do planner videos. He does like music videos. I don't even know. He does whole di different level of videography with like an actual professional camera and stuff, whereas I'm using my phone. So I think it just works differently. So I took that off. So let me know if my videos are like less bright and you can now see them and hopefully not hurting your eyes because that's my goal. But maybe one day I can invest in a camera. On Monday, I had a Rover pick up. Um, I think we got the most annoying dog ever picked up. No offense, but he was really, really annoying. He literally could not entertain himself. And she just like never told us that. And he was a jumper and he was 70 pounds. He, he knocked a bunch of Sonic I brought home one day from work out of my hands. It was just 
a lot. I mean, we still care for them with love and all that and kindness, but he was low key annoying. Um, I worked this day, probably did supervisions or assessments. I don't really know. Uh, I ran errands and then I did work from home. I watched 90 day, which I've been watching the other way, which I always say other way is like my favorite besides before the 90 days, I think, or they're close, but this season of the other way is kind of boring. Uh, yeah, I just feel like the Americans are always like too much for me <laughs> and they're always what throws me off about the show um and then I had a little YouTube binge because we love a good upload on a Monday on Tuesday I had a meeting I think I had yeah I had my leadership meeting which is where all the supervisors meet every other week or twice a month I guess um so I had that so I drove down um, wait, is this the week that I, I think this is the week I vlogged, but I can't even remember now, but I'm like pretty sure this is the week I vlogged like 90% sure. So I will link that vlog down below because that's super fun. I did vlog. Let me know if you like my vlogs. Um, and then I was in office, so I did make materials for some clients and then I got Sonic after, which I just love their ocean water and their soft pretzels. Sometimes I get Mott sticks, but like whenever I do, I don't eat them. So yeah. And then, um, bring home Jake lunch as well. I had a meeting, Oh, yes, I definitely did vlog because I had a huge meeting this day. It was like the biggest meeting I've ever been part of. Um, it was with like all the supervisors across the whole state. So, yeah, that was cool. And then worked, went to some sessions. Um, I came home and Jake and I cooked. We cooked lamb chop, risotto, and... I forget what the green was. It was in my vlog though. Oh, I made like potatoes, broccoli, carrot, like this like bagged thing. But yeah, it was all in my vlog. It was super, super good. Jake overseasoned the lamb in my opinion, but otherwise it was really good. And then we had another Rover pickup. I think our dude Ozzy got picked up. Um, and then, yeah, this night was the first night in so long, like weeks we hadn't had a Rover dog and, oh, it's really nice. We don't have a Rover dog right now and it's really nice. We love doing Rover. Like it's really fun, but we also like the break, you know, it's a job. So it's not always fun to have dogs in your apartment, um, especially when they're needy, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I did planning time. I uploaded to YouTube and I watched some TV. I don't know what I was watching on Wednesday. I had another meeting bright and early. I worked from home this day, took Oliver to the dog park, and then we took him to PetSmart. I think I also ran to Target, but I don't think I got anything. But then we took him to PetSmart and I got him, I think, his St. Patrick's Day cookie and his Easter cookie, which were both really cute. He's now eaten his St. Patrick's Day cookie because St. Patrick's Day has passed when I'm filming this voiceover, but he really enjoyed that. And um, I also got him an Easter cookie and I got a shirt that says Mom's BFF. It's like a bright pink t-shirt. It's a little small on him. Apparently he's an extra large and not a large, but yeah, I got him a mom's BFF shirt and they had a dad's BFF shirt in blue, but I was like, no, you're mom's BFF. So we're getting this. Um, so yeah, we had a lovely time at PetSmart and then we went to Cafe Rio after, which is so good. We like, we go into Cafe Rio now because it's so good. Um, I really like, I recently realized I like their tostada with like the rice, the beans, the steak, whatever. The lettuce is so good there. And then um, they have like the tostada crunchies, which are really good. But then they have this cilantro lime vinaigrette or something. It's so good. The dressing with it is amazing. Also, I think their chips and guac are so good. I'm very picky with my chips and guac, but I think theirs is good. I, I'm not like, I'm not, I don't know 
a lot about Mexican food, so I'm not sure if I'm the person to ask. And, you know, it is fast casual, but I enjoy it. So that or that's my take on it. I've been really into Cafe Rio. And then I did have a call with my mom. My mom... Yes, my mom called me this day and she was like, I can't see my light. My eye is super sensitive to light. It's killing me. And I had retina eye surgery like way back when, not way back when, like it was actually right before COVID. So it was exactly three years ago on this week, which is creepy. But um, because like the shutdown was like three or three years ago on this week. But I was like, I don't think you have like a retina problem because I didn't have any symptoms personally. I just luckily got referred at the right time and I didn't go blind like I should have and could have. But anyways, she went to the doctor the next day and she got diagnosed with this really weird infection and it's caused by an autoimmune disease. So she has now gone further testing and they like can't figure out what's wrong with her and she's like not doing great. So pray for my mom. On Thursday, worked had another call with my mom because I was like very freaking out about her and I was vlogging this week. So that's why my vlog kind of ends weird. And I stopped because I got sad because I was very worried about my, wa- my mom. Um, I took Ollie to the dog park, went on a date this night. We went to Gyukaku, the Japanese barbecue in like Clarendon, Arlington. It's really close to where we live. It is so good. I love getting there all you can eat. We had like a huge discount this day because we're like members there or whatever. Um, so we used our discount. It was like 25% off. It was good. Um, but we did like all you can eat, which is like you get, and we do their like deluxe one where you get like the garlic fried rice and all the deluxe meats. And then we had the free s'mores. Oh, it was just so good. And then after we went to Trader Joe's and we got boba because that's all right in that vicinity. I did drop my boba this day. And then I went back to the place and the girl like recharged me, which is fine. Like I wasn't trying to get another free one, but like before, because I'm I'm very notorious for dropping my drinks and like spilling them right after I get them. People usually are like, oh, I'll give it to you for free. But this girl straight up charged me. So I was like, okay, paid another eight bucks for my Kirby drink, which I still love the Kirby drink from Kung Fu Tea. On Friday, I went to Starbucks with Ollie. Um, new, what does that say? Oh, new Miley. <laughs> we listened to the new Miley album driving home to my parents' house. Cause I needed to go visit my mom. Um, and that was really good. I love her. She's I've, I've been a lover of Miley since Hannah Montana days. So oh, shout out to her. We went to my parents' house. I was reunited with Mochi and she literally freaked out when she saw me. She peed and like my parents were like, oh my God, like she never does that. So it was just really funny. She was so excited to see me. And then my parents got us our favorite sushi for dinner this night, which was so nice of them. They got us Yoyogi, which is like our favorite affordable sushi. Their salmon rolls are like $3.50. They're, they have the best spider rolls ever. It's just so good and affordable. And it's been a favorite since they've been open since I was like, like literally since like 20 years ago, maybe 15. Um, I hung out with my parents. We got my favorite ice cream, which is from Carmen's. And that was really good as well. And then I came home and Jake and I cuddled. We looked for houses together because we are looking for houses. And then I just played my little iPhone games. On Saturday, we had a Rover drop off uh, with a new dog. It was like a Husky mix named Cloud. I think that was him. Um, so yeah, we did that. I went to the dog park with them, just hung out with them. And then I got Starbies this day. Um, I did do a bunch of work from home and well, basically I went and babysat for the only family I still babysit for because I don't want to be babysitting still. I don't need to be babysitting still, but 
this family has never had another babysitter. They're really nervous about it. I'm like, sure, I will babysit your kids. It's really easy. They're always asleep. So like there's not much involved. Um, so I did do a bunch of work just while I was there. And while I was there, I was just on their TV app. And the first thing that showed up was Abbott Elementary. And I was like, I've heard such good things. I know they won Emmys or whatever that award is. And y'all, I finished that whole, the whole two seasons up to this current episode in real time, the latest episode um, in like 48 hours. It was amazing. I love Abbott. It's so good. And I have experience working for DCPS, the DC public school system. So it's very relatable and just it's so relatable to me because I've worked that exact same job. And like, that's why I didn't become a teacher is like all the crappy things they have to go through. But it's, it's also funny. And like, it's hilarious. It's wit written so well, like, it's amazing. I think it may be like my favorite show sitcom I've ever watched. It's amazing. I don't know why I have not watched it sooner. On Sunday, we had Rover Daycare with this new dog named, also named Ollie, and we love him. He also came today. He's come like a bunch of times since then. And we actually had four dogs this day. Um, I think we had another Rover drop off at some point, but I don't know. I guess I didn't mark it. But yeah, we basically had four dogs at this point, so we were a bit overwhelmed. We took them all to the park, and then two of them got picked up. And it was just, I think, Ozzy and Ollie after. And then I did work from home. I cooked dinner this night. I've been cooking Jake's favorite meal, which is honey soy garlic chicken with like sushi rice and broccoli. Really good. Or like an Asian salad, whatever. And then we binged Abbott. I was like, Jake, you got to watch Abbott. Like, it's so good. And he's like, okay, I'm not opposed to it. So I put it on and he was like, wow, this is amazing. So we literally, I watched, I had watched these episodes one through eight of season one, which is basically two and a half hours, I guess, because um, that's how long I babysat for it that night and I came home and watched that whole thing again with Jake and then on Sunday we actually watched and like finished up to the current episode which is just crazy but so into it <laughs> really recommend that show it's so good and the diversity and representation oh it's all chef's kiss okay I love how this spread turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already follow me on my planner Instagram and to see close-ups of this spread at Laura Marie plans my PR codes are listed down below as well as all my other links and the shops I used. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.